grab a cup of tea with me and let's talk about how to treat our baby's eczema. Hi Rockstar parents, thank you for joining me here. I've got my ginger and lemon tea and I hope you've got your beverage review because it's Parenting Chat Thursday. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the steps that I took to treat my baby's eczema. And she had severe eczema. And what you can do to help your baby's eczema as well and treat your baby's eczema with success. So, quick disclaimer before I go into it. I am not a dermatologist or a health professional of any sort, um, but I have been treating my baby's eczema since she's been three months old and she's now 14 months old and we're now totally on top of it and I just want to share what I've done to treat her eczema, how I communicated with the health professionals to get the care that she needed and the pitfalls to avoid as well so that you can feel like you are on top of your baby's eczema. But in this video I'm actually going to show you the the ointments and the creams that I've used that's worked on my baby and what hasn't worked. And then you can then explore the areas that work for you in regards to what I share with you. And you can take in the tips and hopefully get amazing results. Alrighty. Now there's loads and loads and loads and loads of <laughs> things I'm gonna show you right now that I've used. And I'm gonna leave links to the products that I've used below so that you can go and research them and check them out. So, but first of all, let me give you a brief background of, you know, what, what, how, what caused my baby's eczema. So basically my baby was born, obviously, uh, over a year ago. And from about six months, uh, three months in, when she was three months old, she started to develop a red rash on her face. So with your baby, you may have noticed that somewhere on their body, like red uh, patch somewhere. And it looks, it looks uh, very sensitive and dry and maybe your baby is showing some discomfort. So she started to uh, get red um, patches on her face and I thought, okay, this is a bit strange. So I took her to the doctors and the doctor said, okay, it's baby eczema, but that don't worry, it's gonna go away after maybe a few months, just use this cream. So she prescribed me with this Hydromol cream. So this Hydromol, um, so this is good for just keeping the skin moisturized and creating like a protective barrier over the skin. So I would put this on her face um, as often as I needed to when her face was dry. Because to, to be honest, um, my daughter had really severe eczema. So this is gonna be super useful for you if your baby has severe eczema. But I'm also gonna give you some tips on what you can use to treat just kind of mild eczema as well later on. So keep tuned. So I used this Hydromol. This helped in the beginning phases of her eczema. So this helped just reduce the redness, it did. But then after a while, her eczema just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And it got more and more difficult to manage and really, really de devastating for me. So then there was a point um, as she got a bit older and as the eczema got worse where I had to literally take her to A&E because the doctors, um, that I saw because in between that time I saw her uh, like three different doctors I moved house and then I joined a different surgery and they gave just kept giving me different creams to use mainly the hydromol cream and it just didn't seem to work so there was one point where her face looked so bad it looked infected so I actually took her to A&E and I spoke to a pediatrician and a pediatrician asked me some questions so he asked me okay so are you breastfeeding I said yes do you drink, uh, do you have, um, do you eat dairy? And I said, well, I don't have uh, full fat milk, but I do have like yogurts and cheese. And then he asked me, does your baby's uh, poo, does it come out runny? And I said, yes, it is, it is pretty runny um, often. And he asked me like several questions like, uh, is she itching? Is she showing discomfort? And um, he literally said to me, okay, from what you've, from what you've told me, it's most likely that your baby is intolerant to dairy. So you need to take dairy out of your diet straight away. And he was really like emphasizing the importance of me taking out dairy out of my diet. So that's exactly what I did. He said, take everything out. He even asked me, when was the last time where she had a really bad flare up? And I said, oh, it was when, like, what did you eat for that, that may have caused that? And I said, oh, I had a pizza like two, three days ago. And I also had to get one with cheese. He goes, right. Then she, that's why she, that was most likely called the, caused the flare-up because my baby kept having flare-ups. So I went away, left the hospital. He gave me some um, this, um, uh, antibiotics cream for her face uh, to use for a week. 
um, that I used to take away the, to heal the infection. And then I carried on using some normal ointments for her skin. And then um, I took dairy out of my diet completely. And it did, the eczema didn't go down straight away, but it did start to reduce bit by bit, slowly, slowly, because it takes a while for dairy to come out of your breast milk, to come out of the system. I think it could take about two weeks. Sometimes it could take up to three months. And you have to bear in mind that everybody's body is different. So I didn't see results for a while. But then after about six, seven months, her eczema did start to get a bit better. And, um, but the, it was still very red. It was still flaring up here and there. So therefore, I went back to my GP. I said, look, we're still having problems with her eczema. I've taken dairy out of my diet, but it hasn't, it's only improved like 5%. It's still, you know, 95% hard to, to manage. Please help us get a referral. So the, the, my GP, I actually went to see a principal GP he made the referral because I could tell he was just like, okay, I don't know what else to do. Her face is she's just like a strawberry. That's what I said anyways. I'm going to refer you to a dermatologist and an allergy specialist. So if your baby's eczema is literally up to the point where you, you've tried the ointments, you've tried the creams and they haven't worked, you, it most likely needs something stronger and you need to be referred to a dermatologist. If you can try and get a referral to a dermatologist early rather than waiting and like I did, I waited months before I eventually got my derm to see a dermatologist. I had to go to an A&E and speak to a paediatrician um, who specialised in children before I could actually get the right referral. So you can avoid that by just saying, look, if you get your diagnosis for eczema, you can ask for referrals and push that, especially if it's difficult to manage and you're having problems and eczema is just getting worse. So the doctor made the, re the relevant referrals to the dermatologist and an allergy specialist and it was confirmed by the allergy specialist that my daughter was intolerant to dairy extremely intolerant and also she was allergic to peanuts as well so that was it was super super vital that we got that referral it's really important to to aim to get that because you'll find out you'll get more clarity onto what's going on in your baby's immune system immune system and how to deal with it so the dermatologist prescribed um a steroid cream so called uh Carbivate. Okay, so I'm giving you these names. Don't obviously you need to get a prescription for these. So I, I it's safe for me to share this with you. Um, I know that a lot of parents, including myself, were really worried about using steroid creams on my baby's skin because I'm told that one of the side effects is that it can thin in the skin. Um, so I I put my concerns forward to the dermatologist. I said, look, I'm concerned about using this um, Culbervate. It's 0 0.05, so it's very, it's quite mild. Um, steroid cream on my baby's skin. And she basically reassured me that because GPs, GP, even GPs don't really like just prescribing it. But she said to me, because GPs aren't aren't updated on the relevant, the current research and what's been changed with these ointments, steroid creams, they're not, they don't realise that now these creams are actually made, these ointments are actually made a lot safer and, uh, and side effects aren't as great as they were 10, 15 years ago. That's what she told me. So that the side effects do would kick in if your child was to use them long in a long term, like I'm talking years and months and years. But because she was she was very um, certain that Manaya would only, my daughter would only use it for for a short period of time. She was like, don't worry, is she's not likely to face experience the side effects. And and she she pretty much um, set reality in front of me and said, look, if you were to leave it and not use this ointment. Either way, the eczema will scar her skin for life. So you've kind of got a finer balance. So I was reassured. As she knows what she's talking about. She's specialised in the field. She told me that she wouldn't prescribe anything to a baby if it was dangerous for them. So that gave me a bit of relief. And I was very cautious of the way that I used it. So I would use this when she had a really, really bad flare-up. And she also, the dermatologist also gave me Protopic, which doesn't have, which does similar to what the steroid cream does. The steroid cream literally heals the skin and removes the eczema and um the protopic it does a similar thing but it also but it doesn't have steroid in it and it's basically what i would use uh, once her eczema has gone down there's no more redness and it, it's used to maintain healthy skin so i would use this for about two weeks after the redness has gone the eczema has gone um so this was amazing so that the what the key thing that i want you to understand here is that the dermatologist gave me a treatment plan so she literally told me 
A to Z what I need to do when my daughter has a flare up and how to manage it to get it down. So you could call it staircasing. So there's a flare up, you use the carbovate to reduce and remove the eczema. So I would use it for about a week or until it's cleared, until it's completely cleared. And then I would use the protopic to maintain healthy skin for a week or two weeks if necessary. And then that's it. Um, I would, I think I was using this every other day. Um, it, once there, when there was a flare up, I thought I was using it morning and evening. And then as it went down, I would use it every other day. So I had a proper treatment plan and that gave me so much more self-confidence. I felt calmer. I think that really helped Manaya as well to heal because she could, obviously babies can sense our energies. Uh, um, I just felt on top of it because prior to that, I felt really, really anxious. I kept thinking the worst case scenario. I kept thinking her face was going to scar up and it was just awful. Um, but because of the dermatologist, I got a treatment plan. So push for a treatment plan because sometimes some GPs, they'll just give you a cream to use on a daily basis, but you won't know what to do when there's a flare up. That's the problem. And that's what we need to, to deal with. And with eczema, it's all about staying on top of the eczema. The eczema will eventually go. Um, and if it does remain into their uh, uh, older years, adult years, teenage years, then you'll still, you'll be able to maintain it because of your treatment plan. So that is what we're doing right now. Um, we haven't had to use these for a while because God's grace, she hasn't had the flare up. Um, so what I have been using as well in between this treatment plan is I've created my own... Um, cream as well like a, a natural cream because i love using natural products as well i've had to use medical stuff because it's been so severe so that's giving you the, the the medical side of things here's the natural side of things that you can use especially if your baby's eczema isn't as severe or or it tends to go away it doesn't flare as flare up as much this could be useful but also having said that you can use these natural products just on your day-to-day -day, uh, regime with your baby so what I did is I did a little bit of research and I did some natural, and, and I did a natural cream. So this is what it looks like. I've got like a jar and I've put it in here. And what it is, is it is literally shea butter. So I'm gonna leave the links below. This is natural uh, shea butter, pure organic shea butter. So I used like a bulk of it. So you can imagine I used about this much, right? A bulk of it. And then I got, uh, shea butter is really good for moisturizing the skin, blocking the moisture in and, and soothing the skin. So it's really good for eczema and it's just very, very nourishing for the skin. And I also used, I mixed in some sweet almond oil. You could put in however, however much you want. Um, so I put about, I don't know, three tablespoons of this um, into the mix of the shea butter. So you melt the shea butter because it comes up strong, uh, hard. So you melt it with, get some boiling water, put the shea butter in a bowl, put the water in another bowl, a bigger bowl, and then put the bowl, shea butter on top so that it, the steam kind of melts it. Put about three to four tablespoons of, of sweet almond oil. I'll leave the link below. And this is also good for moisturizing the skin, soothing the skin. I put a bit of vitamin E in there because it's very good for the skin, to nourish the skin. This is a natural a vitamin E from 87 and this is very good. Oh, it's, it's very good for moisturizing the skin and it's good for, for relieving skin with eczema as well and it's just healthy really, keeping the skin maintained and healthy. And I also use, you, you don't have to use this, but I also use, sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. I use a little bit of um, lavender oil. So 100% pure organic lavender oil. This helps to calm the skin. You know, sometimes when you put this on and you're feeling tense um, and you put this on and you massage it on your skin, it's, it smells nice. It just calms you down instantly. It smooth, soothes the skin, so soothes the, the muscles as well. Really, really nice. Um, so it smells nice, it makes your cream smell nice as well. So I've put a little bit of that, like two, three drops of this. And also, so I mixed it all together and it's come out like this. So it's really nice cream. Let me try and um, open it up for you so you can see. And I use this, this is makes a really nice for, it makes for a very nice uh, nappy cream. So I literally grab a bit and rub it on my hands and then rub it on baby. Uh, makes a nice nappy cream or just use it as a lotion after the bath. So I just like, soak her in it so she's nice and moisturized the whole body she mainly has eczema on her face and a bit on her knees but those are healing up now on her knees 
but it was mainly um i didn't really use it a lot on her face but i use it on her body because it's very very strong very 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 moisturizing when the eczema was really 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 severe i used a bit on her face as well um and what was the next thing oh i went on um there's a website called balmons if you haven't heard of it they're great and they specialize in caring for skin who are who have like uh, allergy brain prone skin eczema um dermatitis like all, all sorts of uh of skin conditions and i've used um this balmons bath and body oil and it is super super good it's got hemp oil in there it's got chamomile and it's completely natural so i love it's suitable for people and babies who are prone to eczema dry or itchy skin dermatitis and dermatitis for example it's 100 percent natural i've been using this for months now and it's super good and sometimes they have offers on there which is good i'll leave the link below suitable for vegans and this helps to moisturize and lock in moisture in her skin as well for days so i love it and um, this has really helped there was a point where her eczema got really bad and they have they had this other actual ointment cream you can see on, i'll leave the link below and it was really really moisturizing similar ingredients um it's look like they've got lavender they've got roman chamomile they've got they've got safflower safflower it's like a seed oil they've got some sunflower in there it's just super good i recommend that if you want to try that out so this is everything that i've used i have also done for her bath time um oat bath so i literally got some oats and i I filled the as I was filling the bathtub I put some oats in there I put about I think two to three uh, tablespoons of oats uh, in a warm warm bath and I left it to soak in for about 10 to 15 minutes and oat baths help to lock in moisture and help to calm the skin when it's feeling itchy so you could try that out as a part of a bath time routine to help to calm the skin and moisturize the skin and then when the baby's out of the bath, you just pat them dry and then put your regular lotion on. So I've tried to find some pictures of what my baby's face looked like before and after. Um, so I'll post them in this video so you can see. But before you can see that it was super, super red, hard to manage, really devastating to experience for her and for us as parents. But then now her skin is just beautiful. There's no thinning on the skin. She's got beautiful, beautiful skin. The eczema literally shows up in little patches here and there. I know how to stay on top of it. I just put on, I just moisturize her skin even more. I've also been using Aveeno Baby. In the beginning, it didn't work at all, even though it was highly recommended by parents. But now it really helps to just day-to-day -day regime of just putting it on as I'm on the go. I leave it in the buggy and I just put it on when her skin looks a bit dry. But now I went from moisturizing her skin every two minutes to now like every two, three hours. So there is a way out. Um, there is, whether your baby's eczema goes away completely or if it doesn't, so long as you've got your treatment plan and you can get the right referrals with the allergy specialist and a dermatologist, you get, once you get a treatment plan, you can get on top of it. So this is what I want you to get from this video, that you can get on top of your eczema. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below or if you've got any other creams that you could recommend to other Rockstar parents, leave them in the comments below because I know we would really, really appreciate it. I hope this really helps. Definitely subscribe to get more videos like this. I'd also be posting other videos on how we can, we can use specific tools and strategies to raise happy and confident children and to enjoy our parenting journey even more. So thank you for tuning in and again, don't hesitate to leave any questions below. I'll answer all of them. Leave a thumbs up and finish your tea. <laughs> and have an amazing day. And I'm sending you lots of love and healing light for you and your baby. See you soon.